Good morning, children. Today we are going to see about the 10th standard English unit 6 poem, No Matter 5. Written by James Falgano. Okay. It is very easy poem only, only 20 lines. And uh, the poem will include the poem, what is the theme? Mainly, he emphasizes the honest feelings, universal brotherhood, and uh, equality. That is only throughout the poem he is emphasizing, he is stressing that people. So, before that, before that, we, we will understand when I read that poem. So, before that, let us take a quick look of the life and work of the author. So, the author is James Fargano Kirka. He was born 23rd April 1980 was born and his occupation creative English poet creative English poet translator and travel writer travel writer occupation and he works as a teacher in the dorm school in Kalga. As a teacher school name dorm school in Kalga. He wrote 30 books. His first book was Drawn Sailors which was published in 1947. So Drawn first book published in 2008 and his own collections all the works still they hold in the central library which is in South Sri Lanka. his hometown only still they are holding and if you have died then translator, then travel writer. And he works as a teacher also where in down school in Kalwar. Then first book of poetry, Drum Sailor. This book only, uh, this poetry only, this book of poetry only he has written and uh, this was published in 1947. And the last volume of book, that poetry uh, which was published in 2008 and he has died in 2009. First, I will read the poem and I will explain the meaning also. Remember, no men are strange, no country is foreign. Beneath all uniforms, a single body breathes like us. The land our brothers occupy is earth like this, in which we all share life. So, first, I will write these four lines and I will explain the meaning as well as the uh, poetic device also.
no men are strange, no can breathe for him. Yeah. 
but the body is same the forms of the body is same they uh, the single body breathe that body breathe they want to uh, they uh, bring that air for living like us how we are breathe like that they are also breathe and the land of brothers what about is earth like this in which we all shall like how we are living in the earth the same earth only the other country soldiers also living so and uh, we are buried in the earth finally we buried in the earth like that that soldiers also so what is a request means the point request the people we should leave others okay we should allow the others lives in harmony on the beautiful air that god has given us what god has given us we should we should ready to you others also we should allow them to live peacefully in the world that is only this four lines he is stressing okay he is tells the people he is request the people okay the people the poet request the people we should allow them to live peacefully in the air okay understand now come to the literary device here remember sorry here uh, alliteration no no alliteration what is alliteration means the consonant sound uh, to our uh, the consonant sound is placed closely placed words is called the alliteration okay so in the same sentences the consonant sound is repeated the close words that is called the alliteration here no no the first uh, word and the sound and repeated so it is alliteration and we are being all uniform a single body breathe which means we are this uniform entirely compared to the soldiers so it is metaphor so we are alliteration alliteration no no first line the next metaphor metaphor uniforms in direct comparison so means all uniforms that is that is metaphor then then one more uh, literary device also here it is enchantment which means the running words okay the running sentence now the second line third line fourth line only it is ended so without any kind of punctuation mark okay without the first line it is uh, next to the next line the running uh, next line was the two or three lines okay without any punctuation mark to indicate the stuff that is why it is called as enchantment without punctuation without punctuation mark to indicate the stuff so it is called the enchantment so the first four line have you understood i hope you can understand okay what is the theme these four lines the poet requests the people we should allow the other other country people we should consider them they are not a strange they are not a foreigner we should consider them because they are a, they are our brothers okay we should allow them peacefully in the earth the next four lines let me see
Here, were you aware of sun and earth and water? I read by peaceful harvest, by vast long winter, winter star, their land or ours, and in their lines we read a labor not different from our own. So here, they were you aware of sun, uh, sun and earth and water, which means uh, the Which means the nature gives us gift for us. The sun, earth and the water. It is only nourished and nurtured uh, by the nature. Okay. We are nurtured. We the people of the world. We are nurtured by the uh, nature. Like sun, earth and water. We need this very, uh, very necessary uh, to you live the life. So like that, that other country soldiers also like uh, need these basic needs, okay, this nature, okay, so we should uh, allow them to live. And are fed by peaceful harvest, by walk, walk, long winter, star, which means in a peaceful time, in a normal situation, we can actively do our work without any disturbances, uh, without any uh, struggle or trouble, we are doing our work peacefully. So, in the harvest time, we are getting plenty of grubs. So, one more meaning is in the heart, uh, peaceful means the crops growing peacefully. Okay, growing that duration only we have mentioned peaceful. But we are by bonus long winter star, which means in the war time we must be indoor. We should save our life. So, we must be indoor. So, by bonus long winter, uh, until finish the war, we must be uh, safe. We must, uh, we must be. Uh, save our life and we are staying at home or anywhere else to protect ourselves. So it, is a, it takes the long period, the battle when it will finish, we don't know. Okay, so it will take uh, more time. So this war is here compared to long winter. In the long winter season also, uh, we we couldn't do the works peacefully or freely because of the cold. Okay, so in the News and papers also we read already. We know that we read uh, because of the snowfall, two or three days of holidays, the school remain closed. They announced the government has announced which area of uh, the snowfall is heavily. That area only particularly they announced. So that is something here mentioned long winter. This long winter compared to the war, it directly compared to wars. Okay, so here in the winter season or in the war time. They are uh, struggling to suffer to get their food because the starvation, okay, uh, hunger, etc. So like that, those people also, the other country soldiers also, they struggle to get their food. Okay, in the peaceful time, the harvest time, we all also uh, eat, we drink and we do our work freely. But they also do their work freely or the same manner. But in the winter season or in the war time, we are also struggling to do our work like they also. And why we are fight, uh, fight against the other country? For what's the reason? Who tells us to fight? Okay. Who started the battle or war? The, uh, in which country we belong to? That people only. Okay. The people belong to our country. Maybe the ruler or the politicians. Whoever may be. But they tell us to protect our country. And we are giving one information. We are stored the war. Okay. So during that time, we also struggling. And that other country soldiers also struggling. So the point tells us we should consider that like us. Uh, they are also like us. We should consider always. We should remember that. We should not forget. They are also our brothers. How we are struggling to get our uh, food. Because of the winter or the wars, okay, the poverty, hunger, like they are also struggling. So we should understand why we are fighting, why, for, uh, for what reason we are fighting, for the nation or the land. The earth is the same for all. So because we are living in the same earth and we are buried in the same earth only, like that they also, the other country people also, they are buried in the same earth, they are living in the same earth. How we are breathing like that, they are also breathing. So the point again means stressing, you should consider that, you should remember that, you should not forget. They are also our brothers. And they are under us and in their lives we read a level not different from our own. So here their hand means this there represent the other country. Okay, who we fight against that country, so just only mention there. 
Okay, it is there. So, their hands are lost means how they are working, the capacity of work. Okay, they are also toiling to uh, earn their livelihood. Okay, they are work hard to earn their livelihood like us. So, we should consider them, they are also ours. Okay, our brothers. This four lines mainly is stressing the universal brotherhood. Okay, so their hands are ours and in their lines we read the labor not different from our own. Here the labor which means it is also represent the soldiers only. The labor means the soldier. How they are working like that we are also working. How they are struggling in the long winter or in the long time like that we are also struggling. We are also getting poverty. We are also getting hunger. So we should consider that they are the brother. Okay, the brother good feelings. If we have the brother good feelings, we should not hurt. We should not start war against the other country soldiers. Understand? So these four lines mainly is stressing we should allow them and we should consider the other country soldiers they are our brothers. Okay? Then here the literary device here the sun and ID. More contextions are used in the same uh, used in the same line. So it is called the police in the tent. Police is in there. More connections. And the second line, perfect by peaceful harvest, by work, love, winter, star. Here the war starts with W sound and winter also starts with the W sound. Already we know that the consonant sound to are more uh, closely placed words are called the alliteration. Here was and a winter. Okay. So it is called the alliteration. Was winter. Then one more uh, one more literary device. This word is indirectly compared to the long winter. So it is metaphor. It is compared to long winter. So it is metaphor. Was long winter star. So it is metaphor. And the one more uh, literary device is long winter star. Here the transferred epithet, which means transferred epithet, which means here after the winter, the adjective or the epithet, which word continues beside the winter. Okay, beside the uh, noun, it came the epithet of the uh, adjective came, but it does, doesn't mention the winter, but it, it doesn't describe the meaning of the winter. The winter is not star, but it describes the meaning of the another noun. It uh, describes the another pronoun, they. So it is transferred epithet. So here the word star, the epithet or adjective, it doesn't describe the noun winter, but it describes the another noun, here pronoun, okay, this pronoun, they. So this uh, star means the people only start during the long winter, the people only start, the winter is not star, okay. So it doesn't describe the noun winter, it describes the another pronoun, they, another noun, here pronoun only given, it describes the uh, pronoun they, so it is transferred epithet. And as to transfer me, it beside the noun only the epithet is uh, standing, but it doesn't even mention that, but doesn't describe the noun, it describes the another noun or pronoun they, so it is called the transfer epithet. Uh, meaning another noun. Okay, I hope you should understand this four line also. Mainly the theme of this 
four lines we stress in the universal brotherhood they to aware of the sun and air and water which means like we got the nature's gift like the sun air and water from that they are also getting that the country is also also getting and also by peaceful harvest which means in the peaceful situation they are also uh, getting food and they are also doing their work actively but in the long winter in the war time which is the war is uh, compared to long winter in the long winter and the war time also we will get struggling to do our work we difficult to get our food also so we are become poverty okay hunger etc so because of the long winter or war so they are under our sanity their lines we read here they are uh, it uh, denotes the soldiers only who we are fight against that other country soldiers only which denotes there okay so they also do our work so they are also toil and earn their livelihood like us okay how we are work hard and get their livelihood uh, in the line our uh, life like that they are also get their uh, livelihood and they are labor not different from ours own here they are also soldier and labor also soldier so a labor not different from our own means they are also working hard like us they are not different okay they are also same okay same us okay similar to us so i hope you can understand this four line also main theme is this four line main theme is universal brotherhood they have eyes like us that that way or see and strength that can be one by love in every land is common life that all can recognize and understood so the first line remember they have eyes like us so we have to eyes like that they also the other soldiers also have their eyes through their way the eyes the way or see and strength that can be one by love 
which means we can bring powerful strength with the love okay so like us only they are also have the eyes but with these only we can get the powerful strength how we can get the powerful strength with love then in every land is common life that all can recognize and understood so the land is common for all human beings we are living in the same earth only only one earth we are living in the same land so we should consider they are also our brothers they are not foreigners they are other uh, they are not other countries okay we are all the one nation we should consider that again again the poet also emphasizes that feelings only that oneness feelings only he is again again uh, emphasizes throughout this poem so we are also he is telling in every land all the land because it is that earth only we are living in the same place only we are living in every land is common life so uh, we all find most of the we all find the familiar life okay so we familiar to each and every one so like as only they are also and that all can recognize and understood so we must recognize we should, we should accept and we should identify that and we get understood if we understood we should not hurt anyone okay so these four lines also he is telling but with love only we can bring the powerful strength okay we can get success we can uh, reach our destiny we can reach our goal so some cities only those uh, in which country we are belongs to that people okay uh, that country people only tells us to fight against the other country soldiers but we should not do it because how we are feeling we need breeze we need earth like that other country soldiers also need that we should consider them they are also like us the body is we are different in colors we are speak different languages we are different shape we are uh, belongs to different countries whatever it may be the forms of the body is same we should consider that okay so everyone should understand that so we here he is uh, stressing we should recognize which means we should accept we should identify and we should understand that if we understand we should not hurt we should not start battle against other countries okay here also the literary device is dream of earth it is five times comes through this poem so five times again so it is called the repetition okay repeated the poem so it is called the repetition the same word repeated the poem which is called repetition here each word repeated remember the next one one more uh, literary device remember they have eyes like us they have eyes like us it is simply okay directly comparing
Here this three line. Let us remember whenever we are told to hate our brothers, it is ourselves that we shall dispose us better in Adam. So which means here, let us remember. Remember means what we remember. Already what he told us. He told that we should have the universal brotherhood. That one of the feelings if we have, we should not hate others. Okay, if we hate others, if anyone hate other country soldiers, you should think, you should uh, think that you are uh, hate yourself, not other country soldiers. Okay, you should keep it in your mind when you are uh, hate others and you are uh, show your attitude, that kinds of attitudes only you have. So you should avoid it, that kind of attitudes. We should not avoid other country soldiers. Okay. Then to hate our brothers, it is ourselves. We should not be, uh, be not others. We not hate others. We are hate ourselves. Okay. Whenever you are thinking to hate others, you should remember that you, if you hate others, you are not hate others. You are hate yourselves. And that we shall dispose us by condemn. Dispose us, which means we are given the vocabulary, the condemn, which means. The next is betray. And condom, uh, of condom. See so here, condom means express complete disapproval. You are not disapproval others. You are not uh, disloyal to others. You are disloyal to yourselves. Okay, you should keep it in your mind whenever you are thinking to hate others. And uh, next, uh, remaining four lines only. Let us finish that. Next four line, remember we who take arms against each other.
Yeah, this lines. Remember, we could take arms against each other. Is the human earth that we defy? Uh, our hands of fire and dust outrage the innocence of air that is everywhere our goal. Remember, no men are fine, no countries are strange. So this verse line, remember, we could take arms against each other, which means if we thinking to hurt others, okay, hurt others means other country soldiers. Is the human earth that we defend? We should not consider, uh, we should not hate others, we should not hurt other country soldiers, but we should consider our same earth only. Then our hells of fire. Here our hells of fire means in the during the uh, war we are using some explosives when it bursts it will pollute the earth because we are also living in the same earth only one earth only. So if we uh, attack other countries we are polluted our earth only. So our hells of fire and dust outrage the innocence. The innocence also uh, attacked and they are also affected by this war. And of air that everywhere are own, remember no men are fine, no countries are strange. So of air, the air is everywhere the same air only. So if we pollute one uh, one land or one area, this air only uh, spreading the other area also, the same air only we are breathing. So you should not uh, attack or affect or hurt other, other country soldiers. So you should uh, remember that, you should not forget, you should remember that no men are foreign, no countries are strange, all are the same country, the same nation, okay. We have that oneness feelings only, this life mainly is stressing, if we hate others, if we uh, hurt others, we are not uh, hurt other, other country, we are polluted our earth only, okay. So we must have that oneness feelings. If we have the oneness feelings, we should not do these things. Okay. If we hate means we are cultivate the bad habits only. We should avoid it. The quiet error against stressing. You should avoid. You should have that universal brotherhood feelings, oneness feelings, and equality. We should consider they are also equal to us. We should remind that. That is only throughout this poem he is emphasizing. What he is concluding means the quiet requests the people. We knew the other people, uh, we allow the other people to live the uh, world. Okay, uh, live in harmony on the beautiful earth what the God has given us. We should treat everyone equally. That is only the theme of the poem. Thank you.